That's a shame. Look at this trans line down here. Man, look at this thing. A disgusting, nasty, corroded, rotten trans line. All right, once again, rust has put me in a bit of a pickle. I cannot budge it, break it free. It is on there. I even tried to loosen up this uh, eight millimeter fastener. I took that out, gave this clip some room to breathe, and still I can't wiggle anything apart. This little black clip right here, it doesn't seem <laughs> like it's gonna work because it's so rusty. This one and this one are pretty much rusted together. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, I'll probably have to break these apart. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> Broke right away. I'm just gonna rip these things out. What the heck? So much for being polite. Oh, got one. I think I need a new connector. It's pretty sharp. Oh. No. No. The tip broke off. Come on. All right. Well, the lines are disconnected. Unfortunately, this one broke right here. <laughs> so I'm going to use this 22 millimeter to take off these fittings. It's kind of hard to uh, reach up in here and film at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and crank these off. I'm going to take both of them off this one and uh, this one because this one's rusty. I'm going to clean them up, make sure the O-rings are good when I get them off. So <laughs> excuse me for one second. Normally this would be a nightmare. But today we're turning carnage into courage. Rah. All right, this is out. There we go, nice clean threads in here. All right guys, here we go. It's a couple days later, got a whole bunch of new parts and some refurbished parts I'd like to show you. Here are the couplers, what do you call them? The connectors. Here is one that my old one looked like. This is one from another oil pan that I uh, cleaned up for Eric at TNA in the garage again. He got my other oil pan. This was from that job. I called up my buddy, Project Dan, he gives me freshly painted, really nice parts, and I love it. And they're gonna be the nicest parts we have on Barney. Here are the couplings, couplings. These are looking really good. Scrubbed these up, sanded them down, painted them. Ha <laughs> They're ready to go back on. These have two little O-rings in there. Not sure that you could see them, but I just lubed everything up with a little bit of Vaseline. Vaseline is what I use when I do the injectors. So uh, I just use them on here. Let's see, what do we got? These are actual, the actual lines themselves. Here we have the return line. It's got a gradual, deeper little dip here. This is the high pressure line. It's got more of a sharp angled dip. They uh, fit nice together next to each other when they're installed. So these are ready to go. And these are uncut, of course, because they're new. <laughs> they got these little couplings on them and those require these disconnect kind of tools i went ahead and got myself a whole new set because i really wanted these type of tools this 3 8 line it's going to come in handy I'm trying to get in there using this whole thing as leverage instead of just pushing on this flimsy little plastic if you know what i mean so there we go that is all the new parts and restored parts we have all right time to put on my refurbished fittings I'll reach up in here Maybe over here. There we go. Always hand tighten everything so you don't strip anything. Would not want to strip that out. There we go. And here comes number two. Now that these things are all cleaned up, a 7 8 fits on them very well. There we go. Nice. 
All right, let's see. Move this dipstick tube out of the way. Move the dipstick out of the way. Move all this stuff out of the way. Got this old uh, connector from the original lines. The return line is Dorman part number 624354. And the high pressure outline is Dorman 624355. All right, now we're gonna install these little connectors. These babies just slide right on. Clip onto this end over here. Clip. Clip. All right, let's put them in the Jeep. All right, we know these trans line go up and over just about everything, so I threw them over the axle, over all the steering components. Now I just lined it up right next to the oil pan and up next to the transmission. And here we go. We got the return line right about here. It's hard to see the hole, but it's just about lined up where it needs to go. So I slid that in place. You can also slide this one in place. And we'll just push these in when we're ready. All right, got both these lines in. It's pretty difficult to get these in. You're gonna wanna push them in nice and straight. Make sure these clips expand out so it locks into place so these things won't slide off. It's uh, difficult to do. Well, it's difficult to do when these are attached, so I broke them free from that clip, but they must be really difficult to do when they're rusty and grimy and falling apart. So I got these in, looking good. Now I'm just going down the line and I am replacing these old junky ones with the new ones as I go, mounting them where they're supposed to be in these little clips and brackets. So just heading right up onto the front. All right, moving right along onto the front. Here is my return line. Now this return line is going to come right out into here. This is my trans cooler. It hits the trans cooler again before it goes in. So uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna snip off this coupling. Yeah, right in the middle should do, and then I'll Go ahead and made it up right to here. I'll snip and measure as needed. I got plenty of room to work with on this. Nice uh, nice little XJ trans cooler. Did that a while ago. But now this line, I could tell right now this is going to be a problem. This is the high pressure line and it comes right into the radiator right underneath the lower radiator hose and that's going to be a B to get to. Oh my goodness. You know, when I said B, I didn't literally mean B, but mud wasps in the XJ. This isn't the Green Hornet. Unbelievable. So after removing my air box and removing my battery, I lifted off the header panel support bracket, the radiator support bracket, and then I was able to wiggle in underneath the old radiator, lower radiator hose, got my little decoupler on there, and finally <laughs> was able to pop this bad boy out. Oh, can't even show you that's how tight it is, but there we go. Wow, look at that. Header panel had to be pulled off. And you can see some daylight in there too. Look at that. All right, there's the end of that fitting. We got the old one out. My goodness. And here we go. Time to pop the new one in. It's really hard to see in there. Wish me luck. All right guys, got that new line installed. Old high pressure line is officially out. Oh man, look at this thing. This is gross. So glad this is gone. Oh man, wow, this XJ is a mess. All right, here we go. Last line we've got to connect is the trans cooler line that goes into the return. So I'm gonna take this trans cooler line I have here. I'm gonna cut it right about here. And then I'll take this one, the brand new one with the connector. And I'll cut it back here, and then we'll fit this right on. I'm going to give me some uh, meat on this, because it's a brand new connector, and I'll save it in my parts pile. Okay, here we go. Slide on the hose clamp. Slide on the other hose clamp. Slide on our barb fitting.
there we go to become one oh yeah isn't that a song or something spice girls all right we got everything plumbed up now we gotta drop down our dipstick tube pretty sure it goes like this so let's try to get this out of the way of these wires here and we'll pop this baby down there we go let's rest that up in there all right I'll let that dangle there for a second it'd be great if I had someone pushing down while I line this up it looks close I'll see if I could punch it in from the top I think that's in there we go we got it all right look at that lines right up with the hole beautiful nice all right we are almost done guys home stretch so we got the pan back on we got the filter back on we got the bolts torqued down properly the dipstick and all the lines plumbed up everything is tight it's good to go so now it's time to fill her up so what we're using here is atf plus four the factory service manual for this xj calls for atf plus three well plus four supersedes that they don't make three now so we're using four so we're going to put in four quarts it's probably going to take a little more than that since i got a trans cooler and shoot if you want to put in a trans cooler if you don't have one uh now's the time to do it well obviously before you put the fluid in but <laughs> while the whole system's empty go plumb up yourself a trans cooler make sure that you tap the trans cooler right before your return line so you get the coolest fluid going back to your transmission so that's the first quart so far so good quart number two start this bad boy let it run up to operating temperature and then we'll shift through the gears and then we'll go ahead and test this all right once your jeep is at operating temperature it's about 198 degrees you're going to want to make sure you're on a flat and level surface then we're going to follow the uh, protocol for checking the automatic transmission fluid in this aw4 apply the brake shift gears all the way down then all the way back up. All right, now we're gonna go check the dipstick. We're gonna wipe it clean, reinsert it, check the level. Nothing was registering on the dipstick, so that's probably at least two quarts down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add one and check. It's probably gonna be extremely low after that. So I'll have to add in a whole another quart. No biggie. All right, start this back up. Give it a couple minutes to let it drip all the way down there. All right, guys, let's see. We are right there, just above the okay hole and the max line. So I'm gonna stop right there. This is looking good. All right. All right, guys, that was some project, but that is going to do it for this transmission service. We got new lines, a nice clean pan, new filter, new fluid. We did a bunch of stuff to this bad boy, and uh, I can't drive it just yet. It's still not together, but we're going to work on that. Then I'm going to drive this thing around the block and then check the fluid again, of course. Make sure we're still at that okay level. So that's going to do it for this one. Stay tuned for a couple more videos on this good old Black Beauty project. And uh, that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Check the link in the description to all the products I've used. And that's a wrap. Like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next project. Peace. Wow. Look at this piece of crap. Oh, my goodness.